Hey guys, Chum Puppet here, the Barking Mad Kitty. You're gonna get some Barking Mad deals. Buck, buck, buck. So we're at jbhifi.com.au, a good retail here in Australia, a place that I grew up going to and I really enjoy. Uh, we're gonna show you some TVs, some albums, games, uh, there's different bits and bobs that come up. Uh, so we'll have a look at this TV I came up with. So it's a 65 incher, it's a Sony. The great thing about things like this, it's a 200 hertz TV, so it's for great picture quality for when you're playing games. Uh, PS5 and Xbox, the new Xbox, um, not the not the Xbox One or 360, it's the new one. Uh, so this high sense one, this one's 65 inch, 795. This one's 100 hertz, but 100 hertz is no good for the consoles. Um, not too sure why you would have a 100 hertz. TV because things like Foxtel, uh, all, as far as I'm concerned, they're all 60. Um, so we go up to a bit double that price, almost. We go Samsung, so upgrading a brand, a great brand, the best phone brand out there. 75 inch, it's 4K, it's last year's model, but with a very good price. And really, at the end of the day, I don't think there'd be much difference between 2023 and 2022 as far as price is concerned there'd be a huge difference but the average joe the average family this that's meaningless you can go cheaper for a 65 inch but for 100 bucks i get the 75 inch um so that's tvs uh so let's have a look um so there's a google pixel that's 929 that's not too bad there's another one here for 799 uh, where's that Samsung phone? I'll have a look. Because at the moment there's a deal where if you buy a certain Samsung phone, you get a free watch. And it ends up making like the, the phone really cheap. Because it's like a $400. Uh, see, it's $699 for the Samsung phone. Let's have a look. So it's a Samsung Galaxy A54. It's 5G, so it's 128 gigs. It's graphite, so that must be black or something. That's 699. Uh, you can get the other one's 599, um, and that also will come with the watch for free. So we have here the Samsung Galaxy A54, so it's 5G, 128 gig. It's a 50 megapixel triple camera with nightography, a 6.4 full high definition display. So like we were talking about before it's like, this one's 120 hertz you don't get that with your shitty iphones and anything else that's crappy apple stuff you got a high refresh rate two-day battery life which i think is really good 25 watts which is absolutely nothing the in in the old days a, a light bulb would be like 90 watts a, a tiny in your roof light bulb so that's not too bad um so that's a nice phone 699 so we're going to go talk about albums now so when I went to my first ever concert, which was Metallica, the opening act, Lamb of God, from Richmond, Virginia, had a new album, and it's obviously um, available on vinyl. Uh, we're getting this when it comes out, or when I get the money, I should say it's already out. 7th of October, so yes, yeah, definitely out. Uh, excellent, I like it. Uh, last year, I got to go see Soulfly at Sydney University. So when I was at the Manning Bar, which is the venue, um, I got to meet Max Cavalera and before as the opening act was this band here To The Grave they are from Sydney I do believe and started in 2010 and they have a record out I wish I had this record back then so I can get it signed um, it's 48 bucks and it's a pre-order that's really good uh, we have North Lane so North Lane I've seen five times uh, Enmore Theatre Parramatta Park, Manly Leagues Club, uh, Penrith Leagues Club, and Not Fest. Yeah, so five times. This is their latest one, 54 bucks. That's also a bargain. Another great Australian band, Neo Obliviscaras. The new album here. Look at the artwork. How good is that? That's 79. Still good value. It's a long album. Uh, so we'll have a look here. Some of the latest I'll show you some some goodies here so we have up here in the corner 
Ozzy Osbourne, classic, $32. Some Dream Theater ones, they're 100 but they're live albums, really long. Uh, Parkway Drive, we've got Parkway Drive again. Uh, Gojira, Bullet for My Valentine, Rob Zombie, all these good ones. I want to talk about this particular album. Uh, so it's 440. Uh, 440 and it's this is from Motley Crue. It's just recently released. Let's have a look. 13th the second. So it's been out for a while now. Oh, 17th of February 2023. It has five physical vinyls in there, vinyl records. It has Too Fast for Love, Shout at the Devil, Theater of Pain, Girls, 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 and Dr. Feel Good. Dr. Feelgood is the album that got me into Motley Crue, and for anyone that lives in Australia, they'll be doing a tour at the end of the year. Still no dates. People are saying it's with Def Leppard. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, let's have a look. Baby Metal's got a new album. That one's good. What else is there? As I said, potential Def Leppard tour. They got a new album out, so that's a high chance that they will tour here. Uh, let's have a look here. Tool. Uh, before COVID, I saw Tool twice at Kudos Bank Arena in Sydney. I uh, didn't really know much about them, and then now I just love them. Uh, Slipknot's new out. Oh, that's not their new. Oh, uh, yeah, that's the newest one. And so far, um, this one here, All Hope Is Gone, is what got me into Slipknot back in the day. Uh, Ghost, I saw them in Parramatta. That was a download. Let's have a look. Papa Roach, I got that one. Don't have the Lincoln Park one or the ACDC. The Deftones, they were a good concert. They headlined good things last year. Corn, uh, the best of Def Leppard. We have Black Sabbath, of course. And Tenors to Hell. That one there is a compilation album, the best of. Uh, I won't have any of the Grey Chapter stuff because this came out in 2012 and the Grey Chapter came out in 2014. But tw oh, the Grey Chapter would have to be Slipknot's best album, I think. Probably that all, all hope is gone. The new one's really good, but I think the Grey Chapter is just an amazing album. We have, as I said, To the Grave. We just talked about that. Amity Affliction, another great Australian band. Dave Lombardo. So he was a drummer from Slayer, so I'm trying to think. He, he obviously is doing a, a, a solo career, because I, I don't know about that one. Five Finger Death Punch, great album. That one's being released but if you want it on cd that came out ages ago uh oh roadrunner okay so roadrunner records is a i think it's a subsidiary of warner or uh, don't quote me on that it could be sony um they have people like as you can see here slipknot anthrax trivia machine head fear factory sapatura um there's also a documentary on this on YouTube if anyone's interested. Um, I've watched it. Uh, let's have a look at here. Some Biohazard. Don't know who Madball is. Who else do I know? Trivium, Kill Switch Engage, Chimera, Fear Factory, Typo Negative, uh, Soulfly, Slipknot, Machine Head. I would like to see them live. Uh, this Motley Crue one also comes on CD. And I'd just like to thank you for this. Um, if anyone has any comments or wants to talk about music, video games, ideas, as long as it's positive. Thank you very much, guys. Like and subscribe. You take care.